Hey, this is Moen and CJ coming on to you from Dallas Real. This is Money Mondays. Bro, what's Money up? Money Mondays. Beautiful. Love Money Mondays. Gotta have it, man. Gotta, Gotta have, have it. it. Well, so, like last week, mm-hmm. we were discussing the differences between money and currency, and, you know, we discussed a little bit more about the Federal Reserve. Let's get back to a little bit of backup story of what we talked about. We talked about the difference between money and currency. A currency is a unit of account. It's portable. It's durable, it's divisible, and something called fungible, which means a unit in his pocket is the same unit in my pocket. Mm-hmm. And the difference between currency and money is that money has one extra point, which is it can store value for a long period of time. Yeah. Now, we talked about Federal Reserve and how they're printing money and everything. Dude, what is going on? I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, you are as trader right. you know, in the stock market. I mean, yeah. we're not talking about somebody who is in, in Wall Street or something, some, but somebody who is knowledgeable. Right. What is going on, dude? Well, I mean, essentially what you have with the fiat currency, man, it's all a confidence game, really. And so basically what will happen is, you know, the, the currency that we have, this paper, it goes through the printing press just like any other piece of paper. Mm. And once it falls off the printing press, then it's giving this fiat, which basically means a fiat symbol, which basically means it's a, an authority or a decree that this has a, a purpose, you know? And so on a lot of the dollars that you see, it's, it's an eagle, mm. and it has the little stamp there. And so what happens is after it gets its stamp, then uh, Ben Bernanke, I believe, he's the chairman of the Federal Reserve. No, uh, uh, he was. Oh, uh, he was? Yeah, he was. So okay. we have somebody else. It's a she. Oh, uh, okay. She is one of the most powerful ladies. Absolutely, she uh, is. Uh, so right now she is the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve. I forgot her name, so I just don't want to give something right. away right. right now. But but Ben Bernanke was the one. I mean, he was for there for a long time. Quite some time, time yeah. Yes. So... Um, I guess in years past, he yeah. would hold a cult meeting, if you will, and basically stamp that, that note to say that it, is, it holds a certain value. So if it was $20, when he uh, stamped it, it would say, okay, now this piece of paper is now worth $20. But at the end of the day, it's not backed up by anything. It's backed up by absolutely nothing. It's basically monopoly money. Oh my God, dude. This yeah. is ridiculous because what you're saying is that the Federal Reserve decides in their meeting mm-hmm. that they're going to print this amount of money. After it is printed, they just give that seal, the United States dollar. Right. Which before it used to say, you know, the bear would, be ha- would have to be paid by gold mm-hmm. if he or she chooses to go to the bank and right. say, hey, give me that bill. On demand. demand. There you go. But now it says... Uh, it is a promise of the United States government. Right. Completely confident. And you want to know what's mind-blowing about the, like, the entire situation? Is that if you go log on to the Federal Reserve's website, yes. they tell you that it has no true value. They tell you that this is completely uh, uh, confidence. That they have confidence that the United States will hold this value for X amount of time. And it has no, it's not backed by anything. And so it, that's mind-blowing to me because if you walk up to, you know, the average person on the street and you ask them, you, or you tell them that, hey, man, that dollar in your pocket that's not worth anything, they're going to look at you like you're nuts. So that other day we were having a conversation and I was asking you because as a trader you have to know a little bit more about this. Mm-hmm. And you said that historically... None of the fiat currencies that existed beforehand have ever survived. Right. Explain a little bit more about this. You are 1,000% correct. Okay, so I want, really want you to think about this for a second. Really think about it for just one second. Now, if I told you, I told you that there is a 100% chance of rain tomorrow. It is going to rain tomorrow. 100% chance. Would you still plan a picnic? I mean, logically, there's no point. Probably not. Because there's a 100% chance of rain. Well, if nothing else, at least you would pack an umbrella. Or maybe have a rain jacket. Yeah. 
Because you know in, in history's past, so if I even take it down a little bit and say 60%, more than likely you're going to pack that umbrella. Now I'm telling you that there is a 100% history rate that the fiat currencies that have been created have failed. 100% there has not been a single currency that has lasted, withstood the test of time. And still, people do not understand that they must start putting their money into compound interests in order for them to continually be successful and take their money out of their mind out of putting all their confidence in the, the, the dollar. What you're saying is that instead of saving money, Absolutely. they need to invest in something else which has like, which you can touch. Absolutely. Which, which is like real stuff. Mm -hmm. You have to. Now, this is very interesting, bro. It is unbelievable to realize that this is happening and it has been happening for a while, mm -hmm. for a long time. Why are people so blind about this? Because when you go and when, if we ever go outside of the marketplace and we try to have a conversation about this mm -hmm. with somebody who can be an engineer or a doctor or whatever, they have invested their entire life, half of their life studying, doing this and that, but at the end of their story, they have done all of this because what? They will have a living. Mm -hmm. how, do they, how are they going to have a living? They're going to have a living by earning more money. Right. Now this money doesn't have any value. Right. So if it crashes at the end of their journey of putting so much work, who are, they, who are going to take care of these people? Or are, are they designed or to, to survive that kind of depression? Honestly, uh, we can only... It, just like this currency, life is a lot about confidence and having confidence that the country that we live in will come up with a better system to yeah. kind of overcome the mess that we've created. Yeah. And we continually dig ourselves into holes because we see the value in things like, you know, you want nice cars, you want a nice house and things like that. Mm -hmm. Things that the car, well, in the case of a car, doesn't really hold value after you make the purchase. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But the problem is that we don't really invest ourselves into owning anything for ourselves. We don't invest in, in you to own something. And so if you don't own something, you will be owned by that something. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? You'll be owned by something else. And so in our case, it's been the, the dollar. Mm -hmm. So all of us have been kind of, I mean, to no fault of our own, uh, been brainwashed by the dollar to think that we have to have this thing as opposed to thinking about tomorrow, thinking about how we will sustain tomorrow. So honestly, I don't have the answer to tell you if, if people will be able to overcome these things, but I can tell you that the only chance we have is to start educating ourselves today and then put a plan in place, start compounding our money, compounding our interest in order to be sustainable in the future. Now, this year we are going to a bull market. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Stock prices, are, stock market is doing really good. What's up with that stock market? Is this a bubble that yeah. is about to be, you know, absolutely? The the cool, I mean, I guess the good thing right now is that we are in this bubble. We are in this financial bubble, and the bubble is like it's getting heated up. And yeah, it's getting it's bigger. getting bigger and it's getting bigger. And for myself, the one thing that I can hang my hat on is that I'm at the bottom of the bubble and I'm like rising to the top. So I may not actually get there by the time it explodes, but at least I will get somewhere in the middle because I have some knowledge, some base knowledge about it. Yeah. And it is, you know, to the to the benefit of, of having a new president that definitely helps us. Yeah. Um, um, as far as, and he's business minded, and that's something that you have to love. You have to love that he's business minded if you care about making money because he's going to help you put some money in your pockets. And so, I, honestly, you just have to take advantage of this opportunity right now. So, would you say that before, whenever there's a bubble, there's an opportunity? Mm -hmm. Now, what would you say for people who wants to be successful but has no clue about money and the monetary system and this, this thing called the dollar? Um, my advice to them? Yeah. Uh, my advice to them would to, first off, Tune in right here to Dallas Real on Money Mondays because we will be educating you. Because but, right now, we are educating ourselves. Absolutely. And when we do this in, in, in camera to share with everybody, is it, it sharpens our head. Absolutely. That's the only reason we're doing this. 
Iron sharpens iron. It, 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 yes, it, it sharpens our thinking process. It sharpens that. It installs that in our head. Yeah. And while doing this, we're growing, and it's going to be interesting to see where we end up, yeah. you know, one year, two years from now, about the show. Definitely. Bitcoin might show up and say, hey, this is the new currency of the world. Then I believe it is it is coming to that very soon. Do you think that after, if ever, this currency just, just dies out, which I don't think it's going to happen because the United States holds a lot of power still in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to go down as people are predicting. Because with that much power, they're probably going to do something about it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in case something happens and people realize and wake up about Oh no! This is just a lie, and we decide that we're gonna electronically we're gonna use electronic color currency. What's gonna happen? What do you think? It's mark the, the market is definitely gonna shift at that point. Uh, yeah, I, the market will definitely shift, and the reason is because once people realize that the currency is online, it'll make them turn their switch their brains from staying offline you feel what i'm saying so people will start to invest their time more into computers invest their time into learning becoming more knowledgeable about them and once the currency shifts to electronics oh my god then businesses will shift shift their way too and so what happens is now you open up a completely different world for new business owners to really emerge and the great thing about the opportunity that we have now is that you are ahead of the curve if you tuned into the show. Mm -hmm. You're ahead of the curve because we are giving you tools to help you be financially success, uh, successful. And because you're financially successful, you can start a business for yourself, put it online, and we're showing you the blueprint on how to even form your own YouTube channel, if you will, and use that as an avenue to create success for yourself. Do you think that this era everybody should have a youtube channel it's a must bro uh, i think it, it, it is it is essential bro at least to understand even though if you're not having content but you know how to play with youtube because it's not only youtube that we're talking about because at the back office of youtube there is so much more that's related with google my mm -hmm. god bro yeah that you can learn for free for free that's the greatest thing free Free. I mean, I mean, when I see Google structure, how they created this, this was this is like, my God! It's like a business model waiting for you, free, yeah. off, free of charge for you to utilize. Why would you not do it? No, but you, got, you know, it's more attractive to go to Tinder rather than right. investing your time to go. Well, I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. You have this phone. And it's like, what am I going to look at today? My Instagram or my financial portfolio? I made 300 and something dollars this morning off my cell phone. The same cell phone that you use all day long to call people or text. Or, that, or text them. The same thing that's costing you a bill is making me money. So it's all about, you know, what you see uh, and the opportunities that you're willing to take advantage of. And if you're not willing to take advantage of the opportunities that are placed in front of you, then you'll be continually left behind and you'll be behind the curve. And that's just the nature of the beast. One last question that I before we close this episode is because uh, we're gonna go deep in depth because it's gonna be a longer video because if you, if we want to really explain what really money and currency is, you gotta have to really dig deep and there's a lot of calculations. There's a lot more. But that this is the reason why a lot of people do not want to study it because it's way very complicated. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that this is the best era? to become an independent or a business owner for the century? Um, I would have to say that it is because it's the one that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. And you can't really think back on the past and how things were done in the past because that's not today. And you can't think too far into the future because you really don't know what it holds. Like no one knew uh, 40 years ago that Apple would be, you know, one of the largest companies in the world. It's just, you didn't have no idea. Everything. Absolutely. And so this is the best opportunity for you because this is what you have right now and really understanding that the power of now is essential to your success. It's essential to your life and it's essential to your future. So the 21st century is about freedom, tech, definitely, business, entrepreneurship, which is very cool now before it was 
becoming a rapper was cool. Right. Now becoming an entrepreneur is, is the cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. So And self-education. And self-education. I think we are in the verge of the young generation waking up and breaking free of the old models. Yes. And we're just surfing the waves of what's going on. This is Moin and CJ coming on to you from Dallas Real every Monday. It's Money Mondays and we're going to go deep in to what makes currency work, what makes it don't work and what's there in the future. Comment up below on this video and let us know, would you like to have a show on tech? Yeah. Would, would you guys like to have a show on tech? Because he is very knowledgeable in the stock market and... I can bring a little bit on the table about tech and we can follow and see where the tech industry is going to And we can let you know like, where it is going. So, go yourself.